Welcome back, you guys. Today I have a very exciting video. I am collaborating with Sarah Smiles Loves Makeup, and she is recreating a look that I did, and I am recreating one of her looks that she did. Uh, just a couple days ago, she did this beautiful orange and yellow with this delicious gold right in the middle. I absolutely fell in love. So this is the one that I picked. Um, I hope that you guys like it. If you wanna see how I got this look, then just stay tuned. Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I am so excited because I am going to be doing a collab with Sarah Smiles Loves Makeup. We decided to pick a look that we each loved from the other one. She chose a coral look and I chose this absolutely gorgeous orange and yellow look that she did the other day. So I am going to jump right in. I already primed my eyes, um, set my eyebrows, and I'm just going to go ahead and start with my Viseart palette. Oh, sorry. And I'm gonna go in with this yellow color right here. And the Viseart, Viseart, whatever. They don't have names, so. Oh, I almost forgot, gotta do my highlight first. I am going to use Makeup Geek Mirage to do the highlight on the top of my, or um, right underneath my brow bone. Need a mirror so I can see. So I am very excited to be doing this with Sarah. We have been talking and she is one of the nicest people I've ever talked to. She is incredibly talented, like so talented as an artist and the looks that she creates. And when I saw this specific one, I knew which one I wanted to do. Now, I am nervous because I don't think this is gonna be like the easiest look in the world um, to do. And it's always kind of a weird feeling when you're recreating somebody else's work because it's, it's theirs and you don't wanna change it too much because it's theirs. Uh, she has already filmed hers and is just waiting on me to go. So I'm gonna take my blending brush and I'm gonna go in with this yellow color. I need a clean blending brush, right here it is. Cause I am definitely gonna need a clean blending brush. My gosh, are we gonna do this again? I am definitely gonna need a clean blending brush for this look. <clears throat> so I am going to start with the Viseart palettes. They are super duper pigmented. So I am definitely starting out in the corner. Okay, can you see that? See how pigmented that is? All right, so I am going to start right there. And in the picture, now Sarah has a very, very different eye shape than I do. She has those beautiful big lids with all this space. She has the dream eyes that you would want um, to be able to work with. She has so much lid space. Um, and not just mobile lid space, it's like this whole thing. She just has great eyebrows and great um, eyes all the way around. So I am gonna have to kind of alter that a little bit to match my eyes. So I'm gonna take it up pretty far, just like I always do. And in the original picture that she recreated, the colors were, were very, very vibrant, vibrant. And when she did hers, they were very, very vibrant. So I was spending most of the day trying to find the right colors to even do this to begin with. So again, holding it at the end and I'm doing my little swirls there to blend that yellow up at the top. Because the one thing that I don't want to do is over blend this look. If I over blend it, then I'm going to run the risk of making it muddy. And I do not want to do that. Since I'm using a yellow and then going in with an orange, I do not want to muddy this up. So I'm going to try and not over blend, which is not something you would typically hear me say. I will list Sarah's um, channel in the description box below. I'm sure most of you guys know who she is. Uh, her videos are 
fantastic. She doesn't edit. She does it all in one shot, which I, I don't know how she does that. Okay. Oh, I should show you what we're actually, what the heck? Let me show you the picture real fast that we are recreating. And I will ask her to put the model's name in her description because I don't uh, know who it was. I think she said she saw it in a Facebook group. Um, but this is the look right there. So see how high she brought that up? Her eye shape is actually a little bit more similar to mine. She definitely has hooded eyes. You can tell by that crease right there. So she brought the block, geez, old peach. She brought the yellow up pretty high. And like I said, kept it very, very vibrant. So I'm just gonna do that one more time with my yellow and then I'm gonna go in with the orange and I will do the other eye off camera. I want to try and make this as fast as I can so that I'm not spending two hours trying to edit this and take out all my silliness. So when you go and you watch Sarah's video, make sure you leave her a comment and tell her that Mandy sent you. Unless you're already subscribed to her and then just leave her a nice comment and tell her what great work she does. All right. I feel pretty good about that. I'm gonna take my clean blending brush and just go right over the top just to blend those edges out at the very top. And then I'm gonna go back in with my the brush that I used for a highlight and just touch that right at the top there so that I don't lose that coming out to the very end. This is a very editorial kind of look, but it's so pretty. When I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. All right, let me set this down the next color, or the next palette that I'm gonna go in with is the um, Zulu, and it's by Juvia's Place. It looks like, whoop, looks like this, and I'm gonna be taking this orange color right here. All right, I'm just gonna grab another uh, MAC 217 brush and go into that orange, and these are super pigmented too. Like, big, uh, yeah, big time. All right. So this is where it's important. I want to map out where I want this to be. And I want to make sure that I'm keeping it there. And again, I'm not trying to blend these two colors together, so I'm more I'm really just kind of placing the color on there rather than blending it in. Because the colors are so close together in the color family, this could easily become muddy. So I'm just going to keep packing that on a little bit at a time. Always easier to add more than to try and take it away. All right, so I'm just going to use a dome brush. It's much more dense at the end. <clears throat> so it's really going to pack on that pigment. So I'm going to go right here in the corner. I'm just gonna pack that on. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my yellow again. And what did I do with that palette? Over here. I'm gonna go right back above it. Uh, I'm just going to use a smaller dome brush. I'm just going to go right back into that same yellow and take that. I just want to brighten this up, but I want to be careful to not really hit that orange because I don't want, if I start blending those together, then they're not going to look like two different colors. And I'm bringing this all the way in to my inner corner actually. So in the picture, it looks like she actually brought it all the way into here. So I'll have to finish it up after I do my foundation, come back and touch the inner corner up. But I wanna get the CLO placed. 
and then I'll come back in and finish that inner corner up after we're finished. So I'm using a super duper gentle hand and going right above so that the two colors stay two colors. I'm gonna go back into my uh, dome brush and back into that orange again. And I'm gonna pack more right there on this outer corner in the V. I'm gonna take some on the inside here. Pack that right there as well. All right, next I'm going to grab my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and it is the Armed and Dangerous, right? Yes, yes, yes. The Armed and Dangerous, looks like this, very well loved. And I am gonna go into Coin and I'm just gonna put that right on my middle finger and I'm gonna dab that right in the center of my lid here. Put it down and then I'm gonna take my clean blending brush and I'm gonna go right in the middle of those two to marry them together. All right, I'm gonna go off and finish up this other eye and put on some lashes and when I come back, we will finish up the under eye. I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and put the lashes on and now I'm gonna use Gold Mine from Urban Decay and put that right in my waterline. I did already tight line my, um, well, my tight line. I already tight lined with the uh, Marc Jacobs and Earthquake. But in that picture, her bottom lash line was very, very gold. So I'm going to use this. And we're going to go ahead and do our foundation. I am going to use the Dior. This is the Air Flash. I already primed with the Dior Air Flash primer and the way that I like to apply this I don't spray it all over my face instead I just spray it onto a brush like that and then I'm just gonna bounce it on my face this is my all-time favorite foundation And you definitely don't, the one thing with this foundation, you do not have a whole lot of time to work with this. So it's not like a regular wet foundation that you can put on, you kind of bounce your sponge, you have a whole bunch of time to move it around. Not with this. Once it's dry, it's dry. And I went ahead and bronzed my face and did my contour, and now I am going to use my um, Laura Mercier, the Translucent Deep. I'm gonna use that first. I'm gonna go right around edges of our face and where we contoured and then I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to go into the translucent glow um, I don't know if it's light or just regular I'll look and see and put it in the and I take this all the way under my eyes and I basically put this everywhere I just love how it gives you that glow and you don't look oily, but it makes everything look all moisturized and healthy. I love it. All right, I'm gonna grab my blush brush. I'm gonna use Becca Cosmetics, and this is in Songbird. I'm gonna grab my yellow out of the Vizart, or Viseart, right there. And I'm going to take that right in here, we're bringing that all the way in. And then, we're gonna take that all the way out too. All right, 
of that goes with my fingers because there's no liner or anything. She didn't have anything else on there whatsoever. Just that yellow. So I am going to do my highlighter and let's use, what did I have out to use for this? I am gonna take butterscotch, that. And we're just gonna hit the very top of our cheeks. And then down the nose. Boy, that shows all kinds of texture. I should have left that be. I really like it. I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. I mean, I knew I liked it on her. I just didn't know that I was gonna like it on me. I saw Sarah do it. I'm like, oh, I don't, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off. I am going to grab my Gerard Cosmetics lip, lip pencil in Sugar and Spice. And I'm gonna fill my lip in. So I line it and then fill it in. Gonna overdraw my top lip a little bit. I can't do it when I'm talking. Where are all you guys from? We are in South Florida and it is legit freezing. It was like 39 degrees this morning. That is ridiculous. I think the high only got up to like maybe 50 if that. I don't know. It was still really, really cold out. Alright, I'm going to use my Mac Giga Black Lash in. Um, or Giga Lash in Black. And I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. And I actually want to do a pretty, I'm going to do a pretty heavy coat. Since I don't have any darkness there at all it's just that straight up yellow I just want to make sure that I give it this will give it some kind of a definite or some kind of definition this is uh, Charlotte Tilbury and I will put the name on the screen it's just a really really muted muted nude which I think will complement these eyes perfectly oh yeah I like that Okay, we are all finished. I am really excited with the way that this turned out. Um, I think it looks really, really pretty. I am super grateful to Sarah for collab collabing with me on this. This was a lot of fun. I'm sorry that I was all over the place. I have a ton of things going on right now, um, and I actually need to go get to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoy the new birthstone series. Um, if you have any suggestions for any other videos, please let me know. Again, Sarah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Your look was beautiful. I can't like, wait to see the look that you created um, or that you created of mine. I'm really excited to see that too. So you guys have a great night and until next time, remember there are no such thing as disabilities, only different abilities. God bless all of you and I will see you soon. Take care.